1000 title. I think he's up against a little bit more competition, specifically in lane number four, multiple world champion Ivan Shatil from Russia. Jonathan Hadju uh, from Hungary. Flew, I think he was the 2014 world champion in 200 meters and 1000 meters. I think it also shares the year when they can actually maybe relax a bit after the Olympic Games. Yeah. There's Martin Fuchser. Clearly he won the C1 1000 yesterday. Ivan Chatil always wears a different headband and he's oh. been on top of his game multiple times champion. Here's the, the young Hope who didn't come through last year. Have to see where he uh, where he ends up now. He's going to have good memories from Sega to this course when he won the two world championships a few years ago. So that'll be good. It's a good spell of nations here: Croatia, Lithuania, Czech Republic, Russia, Hungary, Kazakhstan, Georgia, Iran, and Lithuania again. With here Henry Kazustasas. This uh, race will depend a lot on the lunge that they do at the end, which is very significant, especially in the canoe races. So um, that can change your position from first to fourth sometimes. Let's see how they're lining up. It doesn't seem to any easy. Let's see how they come no, through in the here. buckets. Yeah. Sister Stas in the bottom of the in lane number nine looks to have a very solid start. And lane three, Fuxa had a really good start. Well, they're pretty much all in a line. It's also Giorgio in lane number seven, who looks to be good. Fuxa in the yellow to Red Bull boat. And the young Hungarian lane number five looks like he's pretty it. forward, but even Chatil is maybe showing his style. Lane seven also pushing it. Well, right across the board, it's Chatil at the moment, leading by about 30 centimetres. But at the bottom of your picture, it's Lithuania coming through, coming up to 20 metres left. It looks like Lithuania are going to take the victory. Wow, lots of lunging going on. Very well, tight lucky race. Lane nine comes back into play. Mm -hmm. We saw some uh, dominant results in this end in the last couple of days, but it was extremely close. The cameras are claiming that uh, Zestak took it with even Chatil, must have been within about a tenth or two tenths of a second. Yeah, let's see the results. Very good start from um, lane nine. I think the fact that there's such a depth of field in their nation that it must pull you along. But to be fair, in Russia as well, there are four or five uh, top athletes. Yeah, it seems to be changing a lot who races this event in Russia, which is good. It shows that they've got lots of good Hello, athletes. Andrew Crater, if you're watching, we'll be seeing you in the next few weeks. And our obviously compatriots looking forward to seeing the, the top talents coming into the Let's line, see. as you see, it, desperately close. You see how much the lunge changed the positions. So it's a case of second place. Enriquez, no doubt about who's taken the winner. Second place is going to be desperately case between Georgia and Russia. It's absolutely flying through the program. I've had three races. I believe the next point is going to be an awards ceremony. Fast times. 38. And Georgia is given the second. So Lithuania take the gold, Georgia take the silver, Russia take the bronze medal and the tenth of a second to the two at the moment. The reason it's quiet here is Hungary have just missed out. I know yesterday's program we saw Hungary winning two of the first three races. And that really including your race yesterday, yes. which was the K one thousand. Yeah. Unfortunately you